YouTube. Your boy is back once again with another dating and relationships video. So today I'm talking about the cost of getting loads of women. The cost of getting loads of women. And I'm not talking about money. Of course, women sometimes and often, often does cost you a lot of money. But I'm talking about an asset that is more valuable than money. And that is your time. Now, stay with me. Right, so, you might be a guy that gets loads of women or you don't get loads of women, yeah? So, there's men that get loads of women, there's men that don't get loads of women. Now, and it's up to you how you categorise loads of women. I don't think I've ever been through periods of life where I was getting loads of women, yeah? But there have been times when I'm single and I've been, you know, you know, seeing lots of different girls and certain prayers of big, certain men have big me up to say, oh yeah, yeah, I know you like, you get bad, girl. Obviously, to them, yeah, I was getting loads of girls. To me, no, it's not what I would consider loads of girls, but whatever, yeah? Whatever you consider loads of girls. So there's men that don't get loads of girls. There's men that do get loads of girls. Now, let's, let's break this down because a man that gets loads of girls is not just one type of man, yeah? Let me just put it to you like this, yeah? Let me, let me put it to you like this to get my, my point across what I'm about to say. Would you rather be, would you rather sleep with 10 different women a month and those 10 different women, you've got a fight to get them. You're, you're inboxing loads of girls, you're going on loads of dates, you know, you're losing sleep, you know, you're chasing girls, chasing girls, getting rejected, getting rejected, like you're, you're you know, you're sleeping with 10 different females a month, but you're, you're inboxing 10,000. So it's like your success rate with sleeping with women is like one in a thousand women you approach, whether it's in person, online, you know, you're risking your job, you know, you're coming into work late because you're out on a date last night or whatever, and you just, your life revolves around females. You don't really see your friends a lot, your family, and you're just on girls, you're on, like, but you sleep with 10 different women a, a month, so... Yeah, I'll consider that you'll get t 10 different women consistently each month. Yeah, that's getting lots of girls in my book. Yeah. But let's say the other option is you only sleep with, and I'm saying only, but you only sleep with seven different women. I'm not, so I'm not saying seven, you're sexing seven times a month. No, I'm saying seven different women a month. So scenario B, you're sleeping with seven different women a month, but... It's effortless. You're living your life, yeah? You're living your life of abundance. You're doing what you're doing. You know, you, you might have your business. You might be going out with your friends, whatever you're doing. And the majority of the seven girls a month you're sleeping with, they're throwing themselves at you because who you are. Which one would you rather? I know which one I'd rather. I'd rather sacrifice three different girls a month, yeah? if I'm single and I'm about that life, yeah, then to just be working, working hard, just to, you know what I'm saying? Because going back to what I'm saying about the times where I was getting, get, there's been times of my life where I, I was getting gal. But let me tell you, I was working for them. I was working to get them. I would go to a club and be on the hunt you get that rather than just going to the club and enjoying myself and not thinking about oh my aim tonight is to bring a girl home from the nightclub but it may just happen anyway like do you get me so there's been periods of time i wouldn't say loads of girls but there's been periods of time where i say yeah i'm getting girls but i would have to work for them Now, I'm using my biggest asset, not money. Yeah, I was using money as well. But my biggest asset, I was using time just to get, yeah. 
Yeah. So there is a price depending on how your life is for getting loads of girls. And that is not, the price is not just money. It's also time. Now, if you go to a big superstar, a famous rapper like Drake, someone like an actor like whoever, like whatever the biggest actor is at the time, yeah? Football player, yeah? Basketball player. Now, obviously, we're talking about people who are single now because obviously if you're in a relationship, it's not going to be the case. But if you're at that superstar level, actor, singer, you know, sports person, and you're single and you're about that female life, you want to sleep with multiple women. When you're at that level, you got that status and you got them finances, women are throwing themselves at you. So you might have, let me use Drake for example, at this moment of time, I don't know if he's single or not, yeah? But let's just say he's sleeping with 15 different females a month, yeah? Whether he's got time for that or not, I don't know. But let's just say he's single and, and he's sleeping with 15 different women a month. Now, let's say you just take a general um, working class person. Let's call him John Smith, right? And he's got just a regular job. He earns probably, let's just say, the average wages of the city he lives in. Yeah? The average wages for his age, for, for a man, yeah? And he's got a full-time job, yeah? Let's say he also sleeps with 15 different women a month. The chances are John Smith is putting in way more work than Drake. I'm sure in the situation I described with Drake, you would like to be in that situation. How do you go from John Smith's situation to Drake's situation? What you put your time and effort in is to work on yourself. And yeah, you've probably heard it before, but it's something that needs to be drummed into, guys. You've probably heard it from me before many times. You've probably heard it from other YouTubers if you watch these types of videos. But that valuable asset time, yeah, is what you need to put into yourself. Yeah. Yeah. If you, if you are someone that wants to be successful with women, you need to put your time and your money into yourself. Let's just say, for example, Drake has a concert. Let's just say he spots a girl in the crowd and he says, hmm, she's crazily pretty and her body is banging. I want to sleep with her tonight. And this girl is in this, in this, in the concert, taking off her bra, taking off her underwear underneath her dress, and throwing it on the stage. And he's like, "Yeah, I could probably sleep with her." Right? He could literally just pick her out. I'm not saying every female is gonna do it, but he generally, if a female is throwing themselves at him, let's just say the concert's done and she's worked her way through security and trying, he could just pick her out and say, "Yeah, boom." So that is a female throwing herself at him. He didn't wake up that morning and say, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and sex a female tonight after I do this concert. I'm gonna try and get a girl to my hotel room. But women will be throwing themselves at him. Whereas John Smith is going to go on the hunt. He's going to inbox as many girls as he can on Instagram. He's going to walk up to many girls at the bar. And even if, even the girls that do find him attractive, he's going to have a difficult time with them because they've already seen him chat to many other females. And his sexual market value may have been lowered in their mind because he must not get a lot of girls. I've seen him move to A, B, C, D, all them females, and they've blown him out. I think he's attractive, but... I don't want no man that's just trying to get with every girl. Even if she's not about that relationship life, do you get it? Do you get it? So, what I want you guys to do, you single guys that are not ready for a relationship, 
What I want you to do is invest in yourself. Invest your time in yourself. Invest your money in yourself. Now, I'm not going to go through some whole financial lesson and etc. I've done pockets of certain things on other videos. Subscribe to my channel. Watch the other videos. You can pick up on the extra bits of advice. But to summarize, yeah, some men are struggling. Some men watching these types of videos are struggling. So there's different videos for them to get to a level of getting girls. But if you are at a level of getting girls, please just have a think. How much time think about the money as well but how much time do you invest into getting the girls and how could you make the process smoother how can you invest the time into yourself to make yourself more valuable in females eyes so forget whether they want a relationship or not how are more females going to want you when you're at that club at, at the bar socializing with your friends how are the females going to flock to you how are the females going to give you the choosing signals to make it easy to just pick out the ones you want? She's sending me choosing signals, but nah, she's a 6 out of 10. I don't want her. Oh, she's sending me choosing signals. Oh, she's an 8.5 out of 10. Okay. You, you, you know what I mean? So invest time into yourself. You can run around like a wild animal and you know, you're chasing girls, you're chasing girls. You're getting some of them, you're getting some of them. Okay, you, okay. wow, you're getting lots of girls, but your whole life is revolved around, okay, you're spending, you're spending money on multiple dates on girls before you're sexing them. But oh my God, she's so hot. She's so worth it. Why don't you just focus on becoming more valuable? Yeah. So a, a female sees you and says, okay. So you, for example, you put the work on your body. A female looks at you and says, oh, he's hot. Or you put the work into your business. And oh yeah, this guy, okay. Yeah, you know, we're not trying to promote you know, dating gold diggers, but some women are attracted to money. And if you look like you got money, you don't have to spend money to get them. Yeah. You looking like you've got money is enough for them to throw themselves like You don't have to give them the money. Do you get it? You don't have to buy the steak and lobster all the time. Do you get it? You don't have to buy the bottle of champagne or the expensive bottle of wine on them. Do you get it? So invest into yourself. Make yourself become valuable. You can still get bare gal without putting in the work on them because you've put in the work on yourself so you've made the process easier so you can go out there and live your life obviously you have to approach women it's nature that the man has to approach the woman let me not let me not get that bit twisted you have to approach women but you don't if you put the time into yourself and you become more valuable you don't have to act like an animal you don't have to go down you don't have to go out there banging doors down metaphorically speaking you don't have to go to nightclubs and think, yeah, wow, which girl am I going to get tonight? No, you, you live in your, you get enough girls already, you're cool. I don't care if I don't bring a girl home to sleep with tonight. I'm cool, I'm enjoying myself. It might happen or it might not. Yeah, you're out in the club on Friday night. It might happen or it might not. I've got a date on Saturday night. I've got a date on Sunday night. Two new girls, they seem like they're going to sex me the first night. I don't care if I sleep with a girl tonight. Do you get it? But if it happens, it happens. I'm enjoying my life. Isn't that how you prefer? Isn't that how you want it? All right. Anyway, just wanted to make that point. Please remember, I've said it on previous videos. Respect your time when it comes to female. Don't let females mess you about. Don't invest, invest, invest on the chase. Don't invest on the chase. Yeah. Build yourself up gradually. Don't try and do no get rich get rich quick schemes or you know hire a bentley for one night to look good for one night no sustainable building work on yourself yeah you're still chatting to girls but you're limiting the time yeah if you find this out of control give yourself time limits yeah time limits on everything i'm only gonna take girls on a, a maximum of two dates if they don't sleep with me or maximum of three dates or whatever if they don't sleep with me I'm on like, like, like I'm not chasing, like, like I'm not pursuing them no more, yeah. Or yeah, if I'm on Instagram or if you're on your dating apps, obviously I've never done dating apps, so I can't comment too much about dating apps. But if you're on Instagram, I'm trying to look for limit that to five minutes. Don't don't waste your time hunting down girls. Don't don't be a statistic. Don't be one of them just regular guys that's just hunting down girls. Become a um. Build value, yeah, become high value, 
yeah? And then if you're, if you become the 1% of guys, the top 1% of guys, then you're gonna be more valuable to more, more women. More valuable to more women. Even if you become the 1% of the 1%, that would be amazing, yeah? Your confidence, even if you're not naturally confident, your confidence will be built because of the way people perceive you, not just females, but people in general. But anyway, I feel like I'm beating that dead horse. I think I've got my point across. Value your time. It, trust me, if you, if, you, if you don't build value in yourself, it can cost you a lot of time just to sleep with a, a few women, much less for the 10 or the 15 a month that I gave you the examples of. That's it. Catch me on the next video. Gone.